can we finally put this guy to rest? The fire tower. Oh, wait, no. Shit. <laughs> I've, I, ju I just realized this is not the guy we were supposed to be fighting. I, I didn't realize that we already beat this. This was uh, not the fire tower. The fire tower is in the desert. Dadoi. I just assume fire tower. Can I leave? <laughs> God dang it. Uh. All right. We're, we're in here for a bit now. I completely forgot. When I think fire guy, I think lava area. <laughs> also, it looks like they don't get stunned by the, uh, the attack anymore. Uh, the, the ride. If they ever did, I don't even remember at this point. I'm so, I'm so flabbergasted. I'm so thrown off. That's so funny. I'm just like, we're going to fight the fire guy. And then I'm just... Wrong tower. <laughs> Yo! Yo! Okay, this is a good warm-up, at least. But, of course, now, like, part of my team has... <laughs> I took off, like, the ice moves that would be super effective to its dragon. The music's crazy. This game has, like, very little music, but when it does have music, it's incredible. I guess this is a great way to to know if I am ready for the other guy. <laughs> is if we can handle this guy pretty well. With resisted moves. If he does that, can I go into you real quick and give you... Yep. Whoop. You're shooting through a solid wall. almost rolled into it see I feel like these boss fights even if you have like a really strong pal like they still take a while so it's never a, a quick run that's a lot of damage though Watching him. Okay. Try throwing you out. Oh, no. Wasn't swapped on the right one. Hi, I'd like to move. There you go. I don't like that acid. I mean, maybe that will help us in the future, but I don't like how acid rain. Oop! I don't like how acid rain blocks attacks. Oh my, I also don't like that he can shoot through solid walls, but. That's me, I guess. It's, it's just my opinion, I guess. What the hell? Jeez. That does, like, 
a tenth of his health. Just like 20k. <laughs> And we're doing a pretty decent amount. Like, we're doing 200, which is not a lot, but it's nothing to scuff at. Nothing to snuff at, rather, not scuff at. But that's that's what my sentence was, was a scuff. Oh! Okay, maybe not 20k. It was about 4k, it looked like. But basically, we just got to hit him 40 times instead of, like, 300 with those moves. I'm going to swap him out for this. Paladus' cooldown for Ice Blizzard Spike is probably... Probably soonish. Arguably, I am, like, fighting with two pals. Like, I feel like there's an argument that could be had... For for people saying that I am fighting with just two pals, which is Kaiser, aka Paladus, and Lilith, aka Lilene. Like, there is definitely a conversation to be, be to be had about my fighting style. It's basically like I have two two fighters and like some alts, <laughs> like some ultimates. Like I can pull out Chardonnay for the ultimate. Yeah, this guy is... I mean, like, he got some good licks in, but I... Yeah, he's just not that great. Not that strong. I mean, like, we're stronger. He's, he's pretty great, I guess. I don't want to demean him. He's doing his best, for sure. For sure, this is his best. Yeah, that's, uh, that's what I thought. Cool. I'm glad we beat the guy that I wasn't attempting to beat. Um, <laughs> excellent. Um, it's this one. We all know I don't read. Okay. Uh, the crossbow is like almost broken. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Um,. Okay, let's wait for our friends to heal up a bit. We're getting attacked instantaneously upon spawning. Okay, I don't want to waste these, even though I did nothing but use them properly. Uh, those are night wings. They're not hostile. Okay, let's grab this chest. Um, okay, let's rework the party again. Uh, we're gonna give you Aqua Gun and Acid Rain. And then we're gonna give you Acid Rain. You're fine, you're fine. Okay. The only thing that I think might be the issue is... Like, I think we can 100% take this guy. In my head, I 100% think we can take him. My only possible doubt is potentially uh, our pals just not doing enough damage because we don't have enough super effective moves that do enough damage. Because with that one, we had Blizzard Spike that did a ton of damage, and we, all, we still only beat it with, like, two minutes left. So... This is the guy we want to beat. I love the variety of villains in here for, like, their backgrounds. They don't have, like, much story. But I like the idea that this guy just buys off the cops so he can do whatever. And also begs the question as to why can't I do that? 
But this guy... I will say that this guy's attacks are scarier to me than the other one. Like, he has... Uh, let's switch to gun. I don't know what he's doing, but he's giving us some free hits off. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Acid Rain's actually cracked. <laughs> I... I was like, where is he? And then she shot behind me, and I'm like, there he is. Because that's doing like 400 damage. A tick. And the, the cool thing about that one is that we can return her, and it's still going off. He calls upon the lightning. It'd be kind of cool if this guy was fire and lightning. Very, very frightening. Galileo! Galileo. Whoop, I knew he was going to turn on me. Yeah. This actually, I mean, I don't want to jinx us immediately, but this actually makes me think that maybe having smaller cooldowns might actually be more beneficial than having like really big attacks because we're already doing so much damage i'm also using the rifle this time so because i don't want to waste bullets on the last one so that can also be a big thing and i also have the attack plus jewel from the last time we fought this guy as to why we're doing so much better but see, I return her, voids that big attack, he's still getting acid rained on. Like, that's cracked. Arguably cracked out the gills. I wanted to roll. Wow, I don't know how that did not hit me. See how much this does to him. Nice. About the same. Yeah, let's run this way now. He's below half. I just wanted to wait for that acid rain to get to him. Let's go. Actually, Lilene's acid rain is doing a uh, hundred more than uh, than Paladis's is, which is really nice. I mean, she does have more attack than him, obviously, so makes sense. We're back to the trusty old crossbow, which we'll probably have to repair after this fight. Dude, I, lo I actually love... I hate it, but I love that he, like, rotates onto you. Like, if you pull out your pal right as he's about to do the attack, he will be... He'll obviously see, oh, he pulled it away from the tornado. Oh, I should have waited for the acid rain. And then he tries going after you. <laughs> saving you from yourself, Lily, and you're about to walk into that. I want to try and see if we can get, like, double acid rain on him or something. Okay, let's get Lyleen over there.
I don't know what hit me there. I think it was uh, the fire equivalent to Iceberg, the one that hits you on the ground. I'm never looking at the ground. Whoop. The Aqua Gun has such a short cooldown and does a thousand. I love being able to retrieve her from that big attack and then throwing her outside the AoE so she can do a ranged attack. He's so dead. He's so it's so Jover for him. It's so Jover. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I wanna get I want Lilith to get it. I want Lilith to get the final hit. There we go. I just didn't want her to get hurt. We finally defeated the desert sovereign Marcus and Phalaris. And that was a pretty that was a pretty clean fight. I wouldn't say it was necessarily easy, but it was. It was easy. We fucking nailed his ass. <laughs> Doesn't make me think that we can beat the final boss. I don't know. Does that make me feel that way? I'm not quite sure. But I'm I'm incredibly impressed with our, our abilities there. We really didn't have to do anything crazy for that. I think we just need to focus on getting some good dragon type moves. Because I'm gonna double check, but I'm almost certain that uh Yeah, dragon is super effective against dark. I'm almost I was almost certain of that. Um So I think we can handle it. We got a pangolet. I want to see their egg. It's a huge normal egg, isn't it? Yeah. Is it good to be here? It's a little cold, but maybe it will warm up when it becomes daytime. The only other thing we need now is just to get some more ammo for that. We'll probably need to repair our crossbow. And if we could get some better schematics, my guy, then maybe we'd be able to, uh, maybe I'd feel a little bit more confident. You know what I'm saying? I also have not milled anything in like 80 years. So let's see, we can make 468. Dude, I feel I feel like all of our hard work has finally paid off. You know what I mean? Like I feel a sense of relief in me like I'm finally like weights lifted off my shoulders. I feel like we've finally reached it. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Dude, I genuinely love this game. Like, it is it is a good game. Like, this game is good. It is so fun. It is it is such a good game. Chardonnay, I'm going to need you on the ground, buddy. got the weird glitch going on where he doesn't quite aim correctly. Uh, can I get off you please? 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 Thank you. I was actually going to try and catch that Lilian, but he wasn't allowing me to get off him. There's so many things that I love about this game. There's so many things that I'm like... I kind of wish it was this way. I kind of wish it was that way. But I I feel like there is a point where you need to, like, as a player, but also as, like, a, like, game developers need to take a step back and, like, understand that, like, players don't always under... Players don't always know what they want. So there's always, like, um, things that I always think about in this game where I'm like, oh, I kind of wish they had this. I kind of wish they had that. But at the end of the day, they made this game, and I enjoy it the way it is, that I feel like if you tried to make it perfect, I wouldn't enjoy it, you know? 
if there was if i was just like oh i kind of wish they just like gave you everything i kind of wish there was just like you know this like it would not be interesting there's obviously some things that i'd like them to fix that i feel like are are important and good but not everything i think needs to be fixed in a specific way that i think um this yeah we'll just make six nails um but i just this game is so good i'm gonna be i'm gonna be sad to say goodbye to it at some point uh at least for a, like the bit before or until they get some more stuff going on but like this game is just it's too good it's too good it's it's definitely not gonna go away forever uh when they add stuff i'll definitely come back to it and uh if they ever release a pal world 2 i would definitely be down man i really 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 hope that they release a pal world like exp like e even if they made expansion packs like arc did and just like give you different islands you could go on to like i would love that I'm gonna make refined ingots because once we get to Paladus's saddle, we'll need that. Even though we are still far off that. At least when we hatch some Paladuses, we'll uh, we'll get the catch bonus. How many Paladus have we caught? We have caught five, so we will we will be able to get <laughs> the ten soon. I think definitely the legendaries. We'll probably have to get another Jetragon because I imagine Jetragon only breeds with Jetragon. But I'm we're definitely gonna want to breed those like later ones. I'm not gonna want to catch ten Jetragon. I'd love to do some challenge runs in this game. I don't know. Challenge runs, I want to do, but I also feel like just the grindiness of the game kind of kills challenge run ideas for me. Because a lot of it is like, oh, you know, like, beat Pal World only using, like, one pal or something like that, you know? Like, then I'd have to go mining by myself. I'd have to go just, like, but it also leads, like, interesting, like, oh, what is the perfect pal that people would use for that, you know? But I just, yeah, I would, I would like to do some some challenge runs i also think that uh, a lot of people who do like arc challenge runs play with like different settings so maybe that's the way to do it is play with different like increased item drops and stuff all right okay let's go check the the skill fruit chest i think it's this one no it's this one nope it's this nope oh well there is some in here grab those because we're going to be looking at dragon fruits we had hydro jet the whole time <laughs> we had aqua gun and hydro jet we could have taught some people i think dragon and fire right now is what we're going to be looking at because we have dragon meteor which i think should go to lilith at this point we have draconic breath which could go to paladis and lilith and then flame arrows to lilith and nightmare so i think i would want to go flame arrows draconic burst I'm going to give you flame arrows, uh, draconic meteor, draco meteor, and I'll give you draco burst too, just because you were doing really good with aqua gun as well. And then you, we will give draconic breath too, though I can't imagine we're going to be bringing you out for too much for that, the final fight. And I'll give you Flamestorm as well. Uh, for the final boss. I think Nightmare and Lilith are probably going to be... Can't organize them here. 
Uh, Nightmare and Lilith are gonna be the two to fight the the dark type guy, and then Kaiser can come in to help. But just because he's gonna be pelted with dark moves that are super effective, which makes me think that maybe it's not gonna be a good thing for him. Uh, how many more? How much do we have to wait on the? Still gotta wait like an hour and a half. So yeah, he's a bit cold. Uh, yeah. Still gotta wait like an hour and a half for him. For nightmares. Eggs to hatch. So I don't think we're gonna get nightmare up to snuff yet. Uh, let's go fight. Let's go fight. I the one thing I don't like about this game is. Whenever I switch out, like, it, it sort of doesn't matter for certain fights, but, like, sometimes I'll switch out, like, the moves, so I'm like, okay, this is what I'm going to use for this fight, and this one I'm going to use this, for this fight, and then I keep having to switch out the moves. It would be kind of nice to be able to, like, save move sets, maybe, just to, like, save some some time, because there's ne it's not like... It's, it's not like um, I have a certain set... For one pal. I sort of build them. For this, the pal we're going up against. Like I don't. Like Lilith doesn't have an, a set. That she's always going to have. Because so that's not going to be super effective. Against some of the things that we're going to go up against. So why would I keep it? I am also very happy. We've been using basically two pals. And one of them is a legendary. But. I'm kind of happy that it doesn't feel... I was getting very worried that... I mean, Chardonnay, I think, has been over overcapped at this point. Like, Chardonnay has been over... Um, past in, like, strength. But I think that it, it, it's nice to know that you don't need, like, the best pals in the game, I guess. Like perfectly bred pals and stuff to beat some of the bosses. I don't, again, we haven't seen the, the final boss, but <laughs> it, it's nice to know that you don't need to, to do this. Also, I'm not fighting this guy for the schematic anymore. I'm fighting him for his items. I'm going to go do a little boss run. So we're going to do this guy and then Astagon and then uh, some other uh, some other bosses just to get some money so we can get we could sell some of the Lily Knox since we don't need them anymore, but I want to sell. I want to. I want to sell some of the rare goods that these bosses drop, so I can buy more ammo for the final boss. We're definitely not built for it though, right now for these guys. Why are you on fire? <laughs> Kaiser, what happened? <laughs> and this is why I threw out Kaiser, because he has... At least he has that move. Yeah, but why are you on fire? Why are you perpetually on fire? Beam clash. Um, I've been looking at a lot of. I know this won't, this this won't have much context for uh, for people. I think it was 2009, but um, I was looking. I'm looking at a lot of the new WWE 2K24 like videos and stuff that people are posting before the game releases. I think the game releases in. I want to say. June, but it actually might be this month. But uh they're they've been showing up a lot of these this new stuff. And um Shawn Michaels 2000, I think it's 2009 uh WrestleMania entrance is in the game, so you can just like have that. And um 
It is. It is. It is basically like Bonk from MPW, the from our show. Uh, his entrance in WWE 2K23, but like on a different level. And I'm like, I might use that as like a championship entrance for him if we ever, if I ever buy 2K24, which honestly, I'm considering it because the game actually looks really good. I don't want to be I don't want to be tricked by them again, but it seems actually pretty good. Okay, give us four ferocious claws. For once, I am excited for a WWE game in a long time. I actually think that this WWE game could be very good. And if it is good, um I honestly might even consider streaming the story mode. I'm interested to see how the story mode will go, but because their story modes have been bad. like their story modes have been bad um, in like the recent years. So I don't know if I will, but they uh, the, the story mode seems interesting from the, the trailer and there's a male and a female story that you could do. So we could add some more characters to the Masu lore. For sure.